Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, happy middle of the night, whenever you happen to be watching this. Um, I've once again been inspired to do a meditation right after my walk, so luckily you can't smell me through the TV or through the computer or whatever, so <laughs> that's good, right? Um, just a few things, fun things. Um, I know yesterday I you probably saw me wearing um, a feather in my hair, um, and I'm sure lots of people think I'm crazy because I'm always picking up feathers. Um, and this is not the one from yesterday. This is actually a raven feather that I got today on my walk. I also got a little dove feather, and I mean it was a it was a it was a day of bounty here. I also got a little a uh, little mocking jay feather. I don't know if you can see the black and white there, and then I got this lovely little. Um, spotted thing. I don't know what that is. I'm gonna have to try to figure that out. I may have to put that on like Idlewild community or something and try to figure that out. Anyway, so um, doves, you know, I well, they're peace, right? So God knows we need, we need some of that around. Um, and, um, you know, I, I'm sure like, um, you know, maybe not to the extent because I am from New Orleans and, and so on and so forth. But you know, I do feel like the reality of everything that's sort of going on in Southeast Louisiana is really hitting me. And then, of course, yesterday was also the day, apparently, that we withdrew all the troops from Afghanistan. So a lot of, I know, people probably feeling very anxious about a lot of different stuff. There's there's plenty to be anxious about. And God knows what. I'm sorry. Do we still have a pandemic going on? Yes, I think we do. Um, so huh, let's get to some meditating. OK, um, first, I'm going to light a candle. And you know what, no matter what you believe about anything, and honestly, I don't care what you believe. It doesn't make any difference to me. Everybody's got, got their own way of doing things and that's fine with me. Um, but this is visual, right? And lighting Palo Santo or something or incense or anything that smells nice or spraying some nice spray in your house, you know what that does? just on a really physical level, it engages your senses, you know? And that's part of the reason that going out in nature calms you down, right? Because it engages your senses. And any time that you engage your senses, whether that's here with me right now, or when you're walking around outside or petting your dog or washing your dishes, any time that you are engaging your senses, your sense of smell, your sense of sight, right? Your, um, your sense of touch, your sense of taste, right? Your sense of hearing, that's gonna ground you. If you are feeling anxious, I tell this to all my clients, ground yourself in your senses. Think, what am I seeing? What am I hearing? What am I tasting? What am I smelling? What am I feeling? You know, what does the air feel like? What do the clothes feel like on my body? What do I see right now? And you can do that just wherever you are, whether you're at work or at home, or like I said, washing the dishes, petting your dog, driving your car, you can engage, your senses are always engaged. It's just a question of whether or not you connect to them, right? So that's one thing you can do. And then also what we did yesterday was we engaged our senses in our meditative happy place, right? And that is also a way to calm down, right? Focusing on your breathing, another way of calming yourself. All of these things, engaging your senses, focusing on your breathing, doing a little bit of grounding and centering and meditation, right? All of that is meditation, by the way. Focusing on your breathing, focusing on your senses, um, that's meditation as well as the visualization that we did, we've done the last couple of days, right? I think we've done three days in a row now. Maybe, well, maybe not quite, but anyway, it doesn't matter. So if you're feeling anxious, and even if you're not, you just want to take a few minutes, let's do that. Um, we're going to start like we do, and that is by calling the directions and drawing a circle around ourselves, which is part of centering and grounding. We're going to draw energy up from the earth and we're gonna draw light down from above uh, so that it meets in our heart space. And that is also gonna to help to ground us. And then 
we will go in, we'll do some breathing, go into our happy place and or our calm, peaceful place, whatever that is for you. And then we're going to do um, a particular activity and maybe a particular breath style as well today called Tonglen. Um, I'm probably not going to follow exactly the Tonglen breath, but the idea of the Tonglen breath, which is um, a Buddhist practice, um, I believe, is that um, you breathe in what you want and you exhale what you don't want. So if you're feeling anxiety, you exhale that. And if you want peace and calm and tranquility, you breathe that in. So you imagine breathing that in what you want and breathing out, exhaling what you don't want. Okay, so we're going to do a little bit of that. And then we're going to do a specific visualization for something that's really bothering you right now. Something that you're particularly, the thing you're most anxious about right now, whatever that is. Okay, so let's do it. It's good just to get a big sigh out. Squeezing up your shoulders. Right? All right, but remember, we don't necessarily want to breathe through our mouths all the time. We want to breathe through our nose because breathing through your mouth is a sign to your autonomic nervous system that you're stressed. So we try to avoid that. Breathing just out through your mouth is okay, but as much breathing through your nose as is possible is best and cal most calming, just FYI. Okay. So first we're going to call on the direction of north, the earth, the container that holds us, feeds us, and sustains us. Drawing a bright line to west, the wind, chaos, instigator of change and the breath of life. Drawing a bright line to south, water, emotion, the river that runs through us. A bright line continuing in the circle to east, the sun, fire, will, intention, the spark of life. And drawing that bright line back again to north so that we find ourselves in the center into that circle, into that safe place, we invite whatever higher power or guides we desire to have with us. I call in the all one, the spirit and energy of love that unites us all as one, that vibration. I also ask all angels, saints, ancestors, loved ones who've crossed over and any beings of light that wish to help me and any others who are here with me, whether now or in the future. Deep breath in. Two more deep breath in through your nose. Exhale. One more. Exhale. Okay. So let's go on to, I want you to imagine a line going straight down from your body, from the base of your spine into the ground. It's gonna drive through the floor of the building you're in or floors, through the earth's crust, down, down, down to the molten center of the earth. Inhale, pull up the strength, energy, warmth, of the earth to you. Let it fill you till it reaches your heart, circulates all over your body. Breathe that up and in. You might even see yourself breathing out steam because it's so warm. Breathe a bright light in from the heavens up above you. The clouds, the sky, eternity, space the bright white light of the stars coming down through the crown of your head and again meeting you in your heart, meeting the strength and energy of earth. We are where stars and earth come together. Now imagine yourself at the top of a flight of 10 steps down at the bottom of the steps are a set of doors. You're going down and through the doors and into whatever place brings you the most peace and tranquility. 10, step down. 9, step down. 8, step down. 7, step down. 6, step down. 5, step down. 4, step down. 3, step down. 
two step down, one step down. Open those doors, close them again. Deep breath in. Use your senses to really find yourself in that space, whatever that space is. If you're barefoot, what are your what is it what, what's under your feet? Sand, loam, grass, a path, bark. What do you see? Look around. What do you smell? What do you hear? What does the air feel like? Is it cool, breezy, warm, wet? Take a minute to find yourself in that space. Really find yourself in that space. When you have found yourself a nice place, find yourself a place to sit. I often have a nice bench, comfortable bench under a weeping willow next to a gurgling stream. Sit comfortably. And now let's breathe in what we desire to have within ourselves. Peace, love, tranquility, whatever it is. Breathe it in deeply. Now exhale whatever you don't want. Anger, fear, anxiety. Breathe in again what you want. Exhale what you don't want. Let's continue doing that for a few minutes. Feel free to do that as long as you like. Feel free to stop and do that anytime during your day if you start to feel anxious. You can always, always do that. Breathe in what you want, exhale what you don't. What I'm going to suggest that we do now is um, we're going to do a little visualization now, okay? So. Stay where you are, comfortably seated in your happy place. And what I invite you to do, if you want, is I want you to hold out your hand, palm up, and in the palm of your hand, I invite you to imagine, to bring into your mind and into the palm of your hand, whatever it is that's bringing you anxiety right now. If you are someone who's in southeastern Louisiana and you've just been through the storm, maybe it's concern about your home. 
Maybe it's concern about what you're going to eat today. If you're going to have something where water is going to come from, power. Maybe it's something from work. Maybe it's money. That's anybody. And any of these things can be for anybody. Whatever is bringing a situation, another person, situation with another person, some difficulty, whatever it is, think of one. And put some symbol of that in the, in the palm of your hand. Put your house in the palm of your hand. You can put some money in the palm of your hand. You can put a person in the palm of your hand. Or a situation with a person. Or some representation of what it is that's bothering you. Bills. A stack of bills could be in your hand. I want you to see it. And I want you to, if you're feeling anxious with having it in your hand like that, I want you to breathe for a minute. Breathe in calm. Breathe out anxiety and fear. Hold it in your hand. Know that it's there, that you've got it. And then I invite you to let it go. And we can do that in a number of ways. You can let it go by blowing on it and letting it turn into a bird and fly away or turn into dust and fly away. <sighs> Feather flying away from you. You can imagine your higher power, a guide, an angel, a saint, whoever you want, loved one taking it away from you. Let's say you have a little Monopoly house in your, in your hand. You can imagine someone just taking it away, taking the worry, the anxiety about that away from you. Just taking it, it's gone, poof. You can toss it to them. You can hand it off, blow on it, but let it go. Just let it go. Let it turn into nothing. Let it evaporate like a summer storm. Now I invite you to get up, thank any one who's come to help you. Deep breath, holding on as much as possible to the peace and tranquility of this place that you have made for yourself. Knowing you can come back here anytime, you can do these breathing exercises anytime, visualize letting go of things anytime, find those double doors, open them, walk through, close them behind you. Let's go up the steps. One, up, two, up, three, up, four, up, five, up, six, up, seven, up, eight, up, nine, up, ten. Deep breath. Exhale. Bring yourself back to this place, to where you're sitting in your space now, at your desk, in your home, on your sofa, on your bed, in your bed, wherever. Open your eyes and come back. Thank you for being with me again, and I wish you a tranquil day. And I look forward to seeing you again soon. Big love.